I've created this video so that you can have a better understanding of the hardship that the African honey badger faces. Uh, in this video, you will see where they live and what are what is endangering them and what is affecting their uh, lives. Follow me to Africa. Join me now as we go to Swaziland, South Africa. Since the beginning of the honey badger and bees, the honey badger has been eating honey. In the 1950s, beehive farms were allowed in South Africa. They were sold by the acres. Before the 1950s, people did not want beehive farms coming in. The government thought it would be better for the economy, since where they lived in South Africa, was a perfect environment. But when there's honey, there's the honey badger. The, the farmers for the honey did not like the honey badger because at night and during the day, it would come and steal all their honey. They tried to give traps and stop the honey badgers, but they just kept coming back and they were smarter than the traps. After a while, the honey keepers were fed up. They started shooting the honey badgers and setting bombs in landmines. Landmines. Fifteen years ago, Africa was filled with many animals, including my parents, the honey badgers. We ate lots of animals like snakes, antelope and gazelles. We also ate lots and lots of honey. In the past couple of years, beekeepers would kill us for eating their honey. If we go extinct, it could affect the food chain and kill all of Africa's animals. Ever since the 1950s, the South African desert animals have started to die off. This is because the honey badger is at the top of the food chain. The honey badger provides food for many of the animals in the South African desert. One solution to keeping the honey badger alive and not to go extinct is to have enclosed areas for the honey badger. Not like a zoo, but like an area where no people can go and no one can hunt the honey badger and there are no bee farms allowed, just wild beehives.